tonight, but fell behind three games to one in Montreal. In the fifth game shown here, the Rangers in white sweaters faced elimination. They fought to the finish, forcing the powerful Canadiens into overtime. But after 71 seconds of extra play, the brilliant Rocket Richard scored the winning goal to send Montreal into the Stanley Cup final. He is red story. Montreal in the dark sweaters. And now, in this first game, watch a marvelous performance under playoff pressure. Maurice the Rocket Richard is stopped this time. But before this game is over, the greatest goal getter of hockey's history will score four times. Here he fires high. And once again, Simmons saves at close range. Boston moving up. Larry Regan to Tompazzini. Now it's five Bruin attackers inside the Montreal blue line. Regan, number 24, back to Doug Moans at the point. His pass up to McKell, who scores to send Boston into the lead. Advantage lasted only three minutes. Moore's backhander, deep flex to Maurice Richard, and there's number one of his four goals. Doug Harvey, number two, a pass to Richard, around the defense, and a typical rocket goal, his second of the night, 561st of his NHL career. Penalty to Chevrofis sets up the third Montreal goal. Here it is, scored by Bernie Jeffreyon. Before the period ends, two Richards gang up on Simmons, the pocket rocket, Little Henri, with a drop pass to Maurice, and there's rocket goal number three. And on a return rush, there are those Richards again. Simmons stops the rocket, and then the pocket rocket. The Richards aren't through yet. This is Henri, number 16. When he gives the puck to Brother Maurice, it's goal number four for the fabulous Rocket. Six times in playoff hockey, Richard has scored three or more goals in one game. Twice he's had four, once five, a record no other player can match. The second game also on Montreal ice with Frank Udberry, the referee. It developed into a fierce checking duel with the goaltender stealing the show on. Maurice Richard sent flying by stocky Boston defenseman Leo Boivin. That's Fern Flamin, number 14. Not even the officials escaped the tough checking tonight. In the second period, still a scoreless deadlock. Dollard Saint starts the power play attack to Joffreon. A perfect pass to Bellevue in the clear. Hey, down in front, mister. But Montreal fans never take belly bow goals sitting down. Canadian lead one to nothing, and it was the only goal of the game. The Richards on the move. Henri to the rocket, but there's no part of a four-goal game for Maurice tonight. Ten seconds to play. There's no more need for a Boston goaltender tonight. Six Bruin attackers. One more scramble. And Plant save gives Montreal the one to nothing victory and a formidable two nothing lead in the series. Down two games to one. Bruins knew that this was a must effort for them. Simmons makes a good save on Goyet. But Montreal got the jump again after only a minute and a half of play on a bullet drive by Jeffreyon. Goyette passes out to Curry, who scores as Donnie Marshall, number 22, blocks Simmons' view. And now Montreal leads two to nine. A third opening period goal for Montreal on the power play. Moore to Bellyville to Jeffreyon, 
and Canadian hold an overwhelming 3 nothing lead. Finley McKinney, number 17, put Boston on the score sheet, beating Pont with his ankle high drive. One, they prove that a good attack is the best defense. Simmons stops Curry. But Goyette is uncovered right in front, and Canadian leads four to one. Watch Marshall's drive, deflected to Goyette, and the way he coolly outmaneuvers Simmons. Flamin passes to McKell at the side of the net, and a goal in the last minute leaves the final score at Montreal four and Boston two. These side of the net goals are a McKell specialty. Taking Flamin's pass, he slides it under Plant's arm. Bruins again on their home ice, now face elimination, trailing three games to none. For Boston, it's just one more hurdle in a trouble-ridden season. Set on a face-off, back to Larry Regan. He passes to Topazzini, over to Fleming McKell, and another one of McKell's goals by way of the side door. And Plant is still the boss. Now it's the final minute. Boston won, Montreal nothing. Canadiens need more than great goaltending now. Plant leaves the ice. But the determined Bruins gain control against the six Montreal attackers. McKell gets a break. And it's even easier without a goaltender. McKell's second goal, to the delight of the Boston fans, winds up a 2-0 Bruin victory, and the series isn't over yet. The drive at the Montreal net. But for 18 minutes, it's a scoreless game. Finally, the Montreal power breaks loose. A three-way play with Provo number 14. To Marshall number 22. Right in, but they stop him. And how, asked Netminder Simmons, did that puck wind up in the net? Here's how in slow motion. Marshall, right in. They take him out, but forget the puck. Pronovo bats at home. Contact. Game after game, tempers can get short. The main eventers here are Bert Olmsted, number 15, and Boston's Levine. It's back to the speed and finesse of a playoff hockey game. One of the most exciting goals of the championship. Harvey to Jeffreyon to Moore. A headlong dive over Simmons. Players flying in. And here it is with another jet-like drive by Boom Boom Jeffreyon. Want to argue about the hardest who can't avoid injuries in the midst of the headlong speed of National Hockey League play. Maurice Richard bowled over at the goal mouth. And for the otherwise jubilant Canadian fans, it's a moment of anxiety as Richard is hurt. Three all now less than 20 minutes away from the Stanley Cup. The Bruins still fighting, storming in with Boyvan getting a shot, and Levine scores Boston's only goal. Jacques Plant argues Boyvan was in the goal crease. The last Don Marshall runs the count to 4-1 to for Montreal. And Floyd Curry adds a fifth Montreal goal. The series is over. Players leap on the ice. Fans pile over the board. The athletes shake hands in congratulations. The winning coach is hoisted high on his players' shoulders. The forum rocks with the noise. A fan gets a treasured souvenir. Such is the jubilation of a Stanley Cup victory. Cooper Smeaton, the senior trustee of the Stanley Cup, makes the presentation. On the left, Frank J. Selke, Canadian managing director. Mr. Smeaton congratulates Rocket Richard, Canadian captain. 
and another season ends after a total of 225 hard-fought games presented by the six National Hockey League teams featuring Montreal Canadiens, Boston Bruins, Detroit Red Wings, New York Rangers, Toronto Maple Leafs, and Chicago Blackhawks. Entertainment, thrills, and excitement.